we're going to make some cardamom bubbler, which is car uh, Scandinavian cardamom buns. So this is pretty sticky dough, so let's flour the surface of the countertop a little bit so it doesn't stick. I like to flour the dough as well. My dough has been in the fridge overnight, so it's pretty firm and not too sticky. So we're trying to make a square here. As long as you keep flipping your dough and making sure there's some flour on it, it won't stick to the counter. So it doesn't have to be super precise, but I like my dough to be about three or four millimeters thick and about 45 by 45 centimeters square. You don't want to have it as square as possible because that way you make the most efficient use of your dough and all your buns end up being the same size. All right. Now we're gonna put the filling on. So this is my cardamom filling, and it is brown sugar, cardamom, um, and butter. So I like to use my dough scraper to scrape the filling over the pastry. And you'll see it has a nice big surface area, makes it nice and even. So you wanna fill the, the you wanna spread the filling over about two thirds of the dough, because we're gonna be folding it like a business letter in thirds. So we wanna cover Two thirds, so you get three layers of dough with two layers of filling in between. All right, now we're gonna fold it over. So again, as I was saying, we're gonna fold it into thirds. So first we wanna take this piece of dough which doesn't have any filling on it and fold that over first. I'm just gonna flip it over like that. And then we're gonna take the other third. It helps use your dough scraper just to loosen it from the counter. And lift it over. And now we have three layers of dough uh, with two layers of filling in between. I'm going to roll it a little bit just to get the air bubbles out and to make it nice and even. All right, and now we're ready to get knotting. So I'm going to flip it around. And first we're going to divide it into 12 strips because we're going to make 12 buttons. So let's see. You can eyeball this. So they'll all be about an inch wide, give or take. All right. Let's cut these strips. I'll start with half. Get this out of the way. All right. So you should see now you have three layers of dough and two layers of filling. There's little lines in there. So what we're going to do to make our twisted knot is we're going to cut it in half like that leaving the top part connected, open it out, and then twist it. Twist it up on the left and down on the bottom. Pick it up, wrap it around your fingers, and tie it into a knot. Just tuck those ends in there. Sometimes they don't cooperate, it's fine. As long as the ends are tucked in, you'll see it's kind of not, not like that's what you want. Twelve cardamom buns. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna let them rise for about 30 minutes and we'll make a little indent here in the middle and put a little bit of pastry cream in there. That's optional, you can do it without pastry cream if you want. Then we'll egg wash it and then put some cardamom on it and some sugar and we'll put it in the oven and bake it. So that's all there is to it. 